Welcome my beautiful friends. Today we are going to talk about the unhealed self. But we're going to talk about this in a very different way. Anybody that has found this channel by now you know that my pick a card readings are very very different. I aim to help you heal not just give you information that sometimes you don't even want certain information for your future but I want to heal your life and this is what I am here for and this is what inspired this video because a long time ago I said to the universe I said look I'm trying to heal my children they are suffering from mental illness depression anxiety why can't I heal them I get to a certain point and then it all stopped and the anxiety came back again and when I was questioning spirit about it all of a sudden I got this information through and they said to me and it hit me like a ton of bricks and they said to me heal that part in yourself and you will heal your children and I thought oh my god I never thought about that so when I address this unhealed part on myself or in myself everything changed and I was actually able to reach my children on a deeper level and this is what we want to talk about today what is this unhealed part in you that you can work on in order to help your family to help others and perhaps to heal yourself further so that your path along this lifetime opens up and becomes brighter let's go into our choices here we go welcome group number one what unhealed part of you needs to be addressed first of all we want to look at your crystal and i want to get some messages from this particular crystal you've got picture jasper you guys might want to look up the healing properties of this particular stone but for me the crystal gives me information it speaks to me and it's already talking about grandmothers here grandmother energy um, coming through this is probably not for all but your grandmother feels like she has failed you and she is very apologetic about that she feels like she is responsible for this unhealed part of you and she um, when i connect with this energy i see this woman crying and begging for forgiveness on a certain level uh, if you have grandmother issues if something happened or you're just unaware of this please make peace with this maybe there's a part of you where you have to forgive your grandmother for something for those of you who that resonates with sit in silence and meditate on that and if there's part of you that needs to forgive her please do so because that is an unhealed part of yourself let's let's see let's see what other information is coming out in regards to this pile already okay there is obviously something going on with your father's energy as well but for some of you this is good some have a father who perhaps started off not um, treating you in the way that he should have and then he was trying to make amends later on in life please go back to that part in your life where father issues started arising you may get a different message from this card but this card tells me about your father that there is definitely father issues that need to be addressed that your father wants to clear these issues 
for some of you this might be a lot of toxic energy coming through and you might be thinking well no I don't want to ever connect to this man again and that is perfectly okay but you need to get to the point of understanding what's happened forgiving for your sake especially if this was a very toxic relationship and the way that you can do this or one way that you can do this is to put yourself in a perhaps a virtual sort of room you create this room in your mind and you see your father sitting there and you are on the other side of that room there's things inside of you I'm feeling here just even holding this crystal again even though it was your grandmother's energy for some but I feel like um, this crystal is very very helpful for those that want to practice this and put yourself into this room with your father holding picture Jasper and letting go talking about things that you need to get off your chest asking um, perhaps there's a period in your life where you feel like you need to ask for forgiveness maybe that's not you maybe that person or your father here it could be perhaps another male figure for you needs to um, it needs to be removed from your life and this is your sole purpose of being in this room expressing yourself extending forgiveness giving forgiveness in some form and then either removing this person from you by seeing a back entrance a back door in this room opening this door and sending the person away with the intention of never ever connecting with them again in this life or in any future lifetimes perhaps it's not possible for you not to do that in this lifetime but you are setting things in motion you are already saying to the universe I wish to release my energy from this person I am sending this energy away I do not wish to form any more contracts with them I want to do things differently I want to establish my own path here very important to put this out there because this is a healing for you now for those of you that think oh no 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 I want to be connected to my father here I want my dad in my life I just want him to change I know he can and if this is a possibility in your life talk to him the same way and at the end of the session, at the end of you just letting go of things, go over, give him a hug and say to him, please understand me. Please know what I'm feeling and see how your current situation changes in relation to your father or another male figure that represents this for you. Then once you have finished, you leave that room, but you exit out of the front door or the front entrance to that room. You seal that door because this issue is now closed. Then you see the room and everything disappear in white light. This is a very powerful session or this was a very powerful session here for you so that you have released certain parts that needed to be let go of. Now you might be asking can I do this more than once? You certainly can because in time you might find further issues that come up that you still want to talk about. That is healing yourself. That is letting go of something so that your life can change. Now let's see what else is there for you guys. Okay, there is somebody coming through here. This is a sister. Somebody's sister is coming in and she's coming in with loving energy. Something... Um, Something needs to be reconnected and do keep in mind that not every bit of this information might be applying to you. You might have a sister that <laughs> you say 
to no no i really don't want to but there is something i'm telling you there is something with the sister maybe this is a cousin for somebody and they want to come back in your life they want to um, connect with you they want to understand you even if it's not possible right now but in the future there will be a change they might be going through what i would call a grumpy time a time of um not really thinking about what they're doing or how they are to understand a situation this is a time you need to perhaps just keep them in your heart but not be very close to them but this issue will be resolved and if you can think about it in a positive way for those of you that this resonates with then you are already nearly there in your mind you're already creating a different situation to your current circumstances and you will eventually reach that so don't give up on that because that's part of your healing that part of you needs to be completed again in order for you to find your path in this lifetime some of you you okay this is interesting parents all you parents out there with children that you are worried about maybe you are in um, a situation that i was in years ago and thought well i can't reach these kids i can't break through there's a pause at the moment i am to tell you that it's okay for you not to be concentrating on them directly now you might be thinking oh my goodness that's terrible why not if you're like me you're overdoing it and you are neglecting your own healing for a while focus just on you of course you don't want to neglect your children we're not talking about neglect here we are talking simply about space for you creating this space and when you if you are doing energy healing start with you you come first so that you can radiate this new energy that you have every time you hug your kids because they are gaining this from you start with yourself and see how it changes your children and generally the people around you if we are unhealed and we're running around frantic trying to heal everybody else well guess what it's most likely not going to happen or you're going to feel so drained and exhausted that it will take a long time for you to pick yourself up again start with you self-love comes first in order to heal anybody else in your life yes this is this is sort of reassurance here this is like um i saw this card this way it's like you're jumping up you're flying higher the universe is assuring you that if you listen to this if you apply these suggestions and there were a few that came out here for you that you will reach uh, an ascension you will find that you're going to be in a higher vibrational energy because that's what ascension primarily is you're reaching this higher vibrational energy once you're there it's it's more difficult for you to fall back down again because you've experienced that you have seen what can happen and you can reach higher ground now let's see what's happening here uh, watch your um internal feelings your mood sometimes we can be in a very low energy mood sometimes there's so many different mood swings that come in maybe you're going through menopause and you're having these mood swings maybe there's other situations that are causing this let's tune in we're going to get a message from our crystal here again regarding these mood swings let them out i can see and look there if you heard this there was just a creaking in the pipes here again in this house this might mean something to you guys i know it'll mean something to my friend laurie so laurie i'm sorry if this freaked you out so let's let's go back to this message here mood swings you let them out yes it's coming the same image is coming back to me i'm seeing you just lying on your bed just crying it out but the crying and the mood swing doesn't last long anymore so what you're doing is you're honoring your feelings if you're feeling angry just, just acknowledge that just 
be angry and say to yourself, oh, I'm cranky, but I'm letting this go. But I'm feeling my feelings and I'm letting them go. The more you do that, the shorter the time span will be of you experiencing that particular emotion or feeling. Because when we hide our feelings away and we're thinking, no, I'm okay, I shouldn't be feeling this way, you know, I'm a mum or I've got to do this, I'm at work, I can't allow myself to feel this way have a little break feel the way you need to be feeling just even you know make space for this feeling and of course find a private room maybe maybe you can have a bathroom break and just allow yourself to shed a bit of a tear and then come back again feeling refreshed this is not being crazy this is feeling your emotions expressing them honoring them releasing them too many of us grow up and we have been restricted with not expressing our feelings. It is always be brave, wipe that tear away, you know, you, that's not going to get you anywhere. And other expressions like that where we had to believe that our feelings are are a bad thing that we can't honor them we need to let them out perhaps even identify the source of where this feeling came from and then alter that if the feeling came from us just cramming too much into our life and we're feeling all overwhelmed and frustrated and maybe a bit teary perhaps we can cancel one of those things we are putting into our day or week and think, no, I can put this off till next week. Honor your feelings, honor your emotion, honor yourself, and you will heal. You will not pass this part of you onto your children because that's often what happens. I want you to do this little bit of an exercise group number one. Think about issues that your children are having and that really sort of stand out to you, maybe even annoy you. And then think about your life. Where did this happen in your life? Did you have a period in your life where you felt a similar emotion and it is still unhealed? Can you go back to that part of your life and with the intention of healing it, even if you don't particularly know what to do, ask the universe, look, this part of my life, I understand, I see this in my daughter, I see this in my son. Let me heal it. Show me a way to express this, to let go of this, maybe using this room that you're creating in your mind in order for that to be released, for you to speak up about something. This is an important, perhaps, realization here for you, understanding that when you heal this part of you, you can reach your children, you can reach people that are close to you because sometimes we even create this in our marriage that we then have this unhealed part of us and it flows into our general life heal that part of you and you will see so many changes now i hope that this gave you an understanding of what to do in order to reach that happiness in your life that happiness is different for everyone it's different for even the members within your own family somebody will think that this is their happiness then another person says oh my goodness that would drive me crazy i'm happy when this happens be okay with that but find your own happiness first all the best guys and lots of love bye for now welcome group number two the unhealed part of you let's start off with our crystal and see what messages come through from your crystal here oh you guys got magnesite and you might want to look up this crystal its healing properties to see how that affects you personally but for me the crystal will start off our messages for today what unhealed part is there? I can already see it. Desires. There's so many desires. I want this car. I, I want this. Why can't I have that? There is unfulfilled desires. Now, we're not talking about that these desires are necessarily wrong. 
but they're unfulfilled. They're not happening. What can you do about it? So this is all about perhaps your wishes, your manifestations not coming true and you're wondering what the heck is going on? Why isn't this changing in my life? Okay, it is changing by the way, but not the way you want it to because you are very protected here. The card itself talks about mountains, talks about protection and it reminds me that we sometimes create images in our mind, manifestations we want to reach and they're like these mountains in the background and these mountains are covered with snow. So there's there's coldness, there is um, ice perhaps, so they're very slippery. If you want to climb the mountain, well, you're going to have to have protective gear and you're going to have the, have to have the right gear in order to reach the top of that mountain. Now, what does that mean? You might be saying, look, I want to be this particular person, but I'm not going to do anything about it. I just want you to bring it to me. So it's the action part. If you want to climb a slippery mountain that is cold and freezing and you want to reach the top, yes, you can do that because the stars are shining light on you. But you've got to realize the, um, the enormity sometimes of what you are asking for. Let's dig into that a little bit further. We want to know the unhealed part. And of course, as soon as I say that, the word impatience is coming out. Look at the stepping stones. You will reach your bigger goal here, but you will reach different platforms before you reach the top of that mountain. You might have to spend a night on in an area that is protected and sheltered from all the weather that is coming in and that's that's okay you're in your little cave there you're having a fire you're warm you are ready for the next step but not today tomorrow so this might help you understand that you will reach that goal you have to do stepping stones you have to do that course you always wanted to do uh, for some of you business management is coming out and you might be running your own business but you want to employ staff you want to um, expand in some way well you got to know about business management or you got to hire somebody that can manage the business for you while you concentrate on other things maybe you got to Maybe some of you are thinking about a website. I'm seeing a website come up. So you're thinking, okay, I've got to do this and I've got to figure out how this works. But perhaps you are um, financially in the position to hire somebody to create this website. That's, that's a good way to start. Get somebody to create it because if this causes you frustration and you're thinking, this is so crazy, I can't do this. Well, you're putting this into your website and guess what? The people that are connecting to the website will feel that. I also had to do that because honestly, I would have put so much negative energy into a website that I would have personally created and I had to have some help. Mind you, later on, I redone the whole website myself because I learned about it and I understood it. Maybe that's an option for you. This is just some things that are coming out and obviously not everybody resonates with this. So we want to get some further information about these unfulfilled dreams. Realizing obviously the stepping stones is the first important thing that will open up the doors for you and not to give up. Look, you have lion-like strength, you guys. But you know what? That, that line looks a little bit tired to me. You got some of you really fight hard. You are out there roaring and you're going for it. And you're thinking to yourself, I can do this. I can open up this platform. I can get my energy connected to that. Then I move my energy over to here. Then I also tap into this. And you know where I'm going with this because you're just spreading yourself Thin. And guess what? That big roar of yours is soon going to just be a little noise coming out of your throat chakra because you just can't keep up with it. And there is this um, 
even I grew up with it like that where it was believed that if you worked really really hard to the point of exhaustion that was the only way that you can achieve things in life that is not true we have to get out of this mindset and this is what's coming out for you as well if you're thinking hey I got to do all this work in order to be somebody cut back on it start cutting back on some stuff and see what changes because sometimes we're just so exhausted and it shows in our work and we just can't keep up with it there was um i think it was an ad you guys might have heard that too an ad of a lady saying that she had it all she had the beautiful home the supportive husband she had her children she had a great job but she was so exhausted to have achieved all of that that she could hardly enjoy anything in her life look you don't want to get to that you want to put out a different energy you want to take out some time and this concept also was very difficult for me to understand to at first i thought i needed to be on all these different platforms and then spirit shut them down one by one you guys probably remember me still on um, facebook even my daughter was on instagram but spirit said look you've got other things going on the side here you it's too much and they said to me i needed to be with you guys on youtube and i needed to put out healing videos so you understood how you could change your life i found over time that pick a cards obviously are the ones that everybody likes but i do want to include a lot of healing because look it's not good for you just to know that something is going to happen when you can make it better easier brighter happier this is what i'm here for to help you on this this path of your life to create a life that you feel happy with no good having all this money when you can't enjoy it you need to enjoy your life stepping stones and don't force yourself to do all this stuff when it's draining your energy these are unhealed parts that are stopping your manifestations from coming in let's see let's let's look a little bit further here and i hope this is not too hard hitting for you guys but look tap into that whatever makes sense to you here take that little part and apply it in your life and this will make changes watch the people in your life there is people in your life that might be putting you into this energy watch them even if they are good people they mean well but it doesn't suit your energy and you're feeling like you they're almost um squishing your your intuition they're they're squishing who you are and you feel so exhausted with this pressure on you all the time that's what you want to avoid so using your intuition is a very important part in healing the self because sometimes we know we shouldn't be doing something but we feel afraid to almost tell our partner our parent our child that we don't want to do this we want to do it a different way and this is what's important maybe this even relates to work and you know that the boss has put too much work on you and that's now all your work is suffering and perhaps your boss doesn't even realize the amount of work that's been put onto you over a period of time because bosses can be like that they go okay we give that to this person and I used to have the same I was good at my job and all of a sudden I found that I was given more and more and more and at the end of it I was just like collapsing here I couldn't do it all but I didn't speak up I felt like no 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 they obviously trust me with this so it's a great privilege here so now I'm doing this as well no don't do that because you are draining yourself this is an important part this is a healing this is a lesson you need to learn in this life in order for you to thrive and this i feel really happy energy just then as soon as i said that in order for you to thrive you can feel that too some of you listening to that you can feel it it's almost like a big burden has just lifted off you and you're going that's true i don't need to do all this stuff 
it is true Howie so if I've reached some of you and you're feeling this way congratulations we've just opened a door you have healed a part of you oh gives me goosebumps just thinking about that so guys this this is beautiful energy look this will put you in a much more relaxed energy it will give you time to reconnect perhaps to that love in your life that passion in your life this doesn't have to be romantic love it could simply represent a passion for you a passion for life itself because that's where the universe is trying to channel you towards that you are not getting up in the morning and running around like a mad person and you're you're going back a few times after you've already left and you're sitting in the car and you're going oh my god I forgot this then you get back in the car oh my god now I left this on and now I have to turn this off no this is this energy oh you cannot keep this up guys I've been there and it just produces more it's a cycle it'll drive you crazy so we don't want you driven crazy we want you to enjoy life we want you to have this passion for life for love and for you look make your wishes keep making your wishes keep putting your dreams out there but also create space for the universe to bring them to you there is a fine balance here between acting on something and between stepping back and allowing the universe to to open this up this is so different for everybody depends on your circumstances what your goals are what you're trying to achieve and this is this would be a personal session with me to tap into this but this video will help you understand certain things that you need to be doing because not everything in our personal life is meant for us and sometimes we can fight so hard for something and it will never work out because it's just not what we're meant to do but usually we also know that we also don't have a love for this thing that we're doing or this direction that we have taken we know we always wanted to be this but we feel like we can't achieve this perhaps you still can achieve this perhaps this your goal on this side perhaps it's on a part-time basis and you work part-time you build up something here you you slowly start moving into it don't give up on this when that is making you unhappy look guys you're heading in a direction of passion for life again these manifestations of yours are there to be realized recognize what needs to be altered what needs to be changed but what made sense to you out of this reading start applying it and see whether things change in your life and see what else you can do in order to make these changes happen all the best guys and lots of love Bye for now. Welcome group number three. Let's have a look and see what the crystal is that you guys have got all about um, looking into some part of you that needs healing in order to move forwards. So you've got Rose Aura. Now you might want to look up Rose Aura and see its healing properties but for now we're going to tune into the messages that this gives me. I see busy par parents here. In my vision I see a mum and you are going I can't do this, I, I cannot do this, draining yourself now you might be saying right now well that's not me i'm in the wrong pile i'm in the wrong reading what's going on this is not you maybe not maybe some of you resonate with this this is what your mum felt like when you were born when you entered into this world that's how you grew up this is an unhealed part of you and you might not even really know it some of you probably do but you might not understand it fully that your mum has put this energy on you and you're suffering these the consequences of this you were a burden 
to your parents now i'm talking a lot about mum this could also be dad but i just saw a woman in my vision here let's talk a little bit more about healing this part of you do you feel unworthy do you feel or you crave um, people in your life recognition for just who you are as a person and you have never had that people have always put you down people have used you people have abused you even and it's been very difficult to find your soul tribe but perhaps you're starting to get there now because you are healing yourself and that's important for you because look this this what's unhealed has been put onto you by your parents so let's look a little bit deeper into this they have really made you feel unworthy that unworthy part of you comes from mum and dad and it is carried through to your life where you feel like sometimes you just want to hide away you want to shelter yourself you want to be in this place where nobody can find you let's see how you can heal this we want to know a little bit more on how you can heal this okay interesting for you guys because you've tried a lot of stuff you have done a lot of things and now we're going to dig into the unusual side of healing because you might have gone to psychologists psychiatrists you might have had help from from counselors of some kind but you're still feeling stuck that's why you're here because this what i'm about to tell you is a little bit different than what you have heard in the past now what you want to be doing is connecting yourself to your spirit animals this is coming out the first one that is coming out for you here is the bear each spirit animal carries with it a certain quality properties things that you are perhaps missing at this time in your life and you might be asking, well, how do I know what spirit animal is connecting with me? This you will do through practice and you don't even have to practice for long. When you sit in meditation and you call your spirit animal, the first animal that comes to mind is your spirit animal at this particular time. Look, this might change daily and you might want to do this daily. It might even change throughout your day where a certain situation comes in and you going, how do I deal with this? I feel so anxious. Stop, sit, create some space in your mind like an emptiness and call in your spirit animal. As soon as I did that and I sort of created an empty space there, a hollow space and what comes in was an owl. So I'm going to be looking up everything about the owl today. So you can do the same. What does the bear hear? What does the bear tell you? What does your spirit animal, for some reason, for some of you, I'm seeing an ant. You might be feeling the same way. Look up ants if you are... Uh, interested or if you're resonating with this and you're saying yes I see the same thing these spirit animals can be very unusual and you'd be thinking why am I seeing this why am I seeing an ant why am I seeing a fly look it up google it research it because there is some part of you that is unhealed and your spirit animal each and every day maybe a few times a day if you're in a pretty particularly bad situation that comes in and will show you something will open a door so try that it's an unusual method but look, you've tried a lot of different stuff. You might be on heavy medication for things and you're still experiencing these issues. Try this and see by applying this certain quality. The bear, for example, you're going to look it up and you might find that strength comes out and you'll be thinking, oh my goodness, that means I need to be strong in this situation. I'm not going to give in. 
I need to keep going. The bear here is telling me that I can do this. And then you might connect to another animal. Um, let's say we're going with the owl and there's wisdom about the owl. And you're thinking, well, hang on, I need to stop. The owl is telling me all about wisdom. I need to get some more information. Um, I'm not going to start this new thing up until I find out a little bit more about it. Because honestly, this thing is giving me a bit of anxiety maybe I shouldn't be looking into this this is how you can work with your spirit animals the anxiety you're facing towards situation and an issue can be uh, made easier or taken away through your understanding of how you can use spirit animals in order to help you along your next step if you have been worried about your connection to spirit in general and you're thinking, look, I'm not a reader, I don't really know how to use my intuition, perhaps I've opened a new door here for you and this door now is showing you how connected you guys actually are to source energy, to your higher self, to your spiritual team, to spirit animals. Now, the crystal is talking to me. I'm just going to pick up this crystal and oh yes i can see another way of healing yourself this is we were talking about uh, my vision of seeing you there your mum and she was so frustrated with you and it, everything was just too much for her now we want to change this this is often what i do in my own practice and whenever i connect to past lives but you can also apply the same principle the same concept of using your mind our mind is our power source and if it's a little bit out of alignment then we need to bring it back into alignment now your mind your feelings have been thrown out your emotional body has been thrown out by your mind through your upbringing through the feelings of your mother they already started in the womb so you can use your mind to create something different and to absorb this different feeling you might have to do this a few times but travel back travel back to that time don't see the negative but create a different family situation you don't even have to have your same parents but you're looking at different parents you're looking at a loving family arrangement a nurturing family arrangement and don't say to yourself oh i wish that was me say to yourself that is me that is me i'm absorbing this this new energy See yourself celebrating your birthday. Feel the love. Open the present. Taste the cake. And see the love that is out there that you can create. What other situations, what other loving situation can you create? Create them in your mind. Absorb that energy. Take that back with you. That's not to downplay the trauma of the situation, not at all. You've accepted the trauma, the trauma has been there. But now you're no longer letting it rule that emotional body, that part of your brain that is so attached to the trauma. You're giving it nourishment. It's like that part has been starving of nutrients. Now you're replacing it with nutrients. You're putting new ones in there through your imagination. Your mind is your power source here. That is very, very healing information that you can apply in order to make things um, even they're talking to me about disappearing. That means your certain levels of your anxiety will start to disappear. Your depression will start lifting because you're creating different scenarios. And you can certainly do that with other situations in your life as well. Heal that part. If you can take positive actions towards it in a physical way, also do that. You might have to separate. You might have to do take a different action but if you combine the physical action with this action in your mind you will realize that things can change on a very deep level yes you can look there's always animals some of you this card tells me that you need to get yourself a cat 
Some of you already have cats. Even if you, I'm getting more messages here. Even if you sit with your cat, just stroking, just patting your cat and absorbing their energy because they've been sent to you as a healing. And a lot of animals, this is the case. I have my little dog, Bob, that you sometimes hear in the videos barking. And I think Bob sometimes even makes appearances here in the videos. So this is a very protective energy for you. Animals sense when there is something not right with us and they can often make us aware of it. I have often seen Bob run towards me and then get a big cuddle and afterwards he'll go outside and lie in the sun because he's clearing his energy with the sun and that's why you often see animals love the sun and I often tell Bob off in the summer I'm saying to him don't lie in that hot sun but I realize that that is very clearing for him so I give him a few minutes out there before I say to him get back inside because it's just too hot out there but you might be the same you guys look um, animals are an important part of your life your visions will also improve your spiritual visions improve through your connection with animals it's going to be so bright even looking at this card it's just so bright you will find that if you don't have an animal and you always wanted one it's a good idea to have an animal around because there is so much more healing maybe as it, as it was in my case as a young girl i always wanted a dog and there were always excuses in our house as to why we couldn't have a dog and so i i grew up basically believing that um now animals are dirty every time you touch an animal you got to straight away run and wash your hands and this is how i grew up so i found it very difficult to, in my younger years to connect with animals later on of course that all changed and i changed my way of thinking and the first thing that I got in my life was a little dog actually a bigger dog we rescued one but um, the one that really stands out to me is the one I have currently Bob so for you guys this might be the, the same visions will be opened by you connecting to the animals around you or purchasing or adopting which would be a much better option even though adoption you're still purchasing them on a certain level but look that is money well spent because they will give you so much love and you will benefit as well as the animal will benefit from the love that you are showing them look there i can tell you guys you are on an ascension journey in this life the unhealed parts of you will disappear in this lifetime wow i didn't have that for the other two piles but yours will <laughs> you're going me really you're talking about me there's so much stuff in my life yes i'm talking about you you will find that you will start healing on a very deep level you might go through a period of time where this healing comes in so fast and thick and heavy that you won't even recognize yourself afterwards it might throw you out for a little while but it will bring everything back together and you will have harmony i feel so much peace enlightenment and calmness in this person's mind and that's where you're heading guys you are beautiful souls on a healing journey which you will achieve in this lifetime so you have done a lot of healing yourself already you've just got the final stages of the healings to go through and of course life life gives us lessons and the lessons need to be sort of adapted to because they're like a roller coaster but that's okay embrace the lessons because as you embrace them the roller coaster instead of being like this and throwing you out will be more like a gentle wave coming in and leaving just as fast as it came in all the best to you guys and lots of love bye for now